Hello and welcome. In this video, we will talk about the cost management tools. To know the cost and usage for a particular service, we have two tools in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. One is the cost and usage report, and the other is the cost analysis tool. The difference between the cost and usage reports and cost analysis tool is that the cost and usage show multiple reports for a particular day. If you want to know total cost or usage of a day, you need to download and consolidate all the respective reports manually, whereas you can get the usage report of a day easily by using the cost analysis tool. The cost analysis tool allows us to view both cost and usage reports for a particular day on hourly or monthly basis. This field controls the level of precision for the cost and usage data presented in the cost analysis tool. Let's get started. The granularity options are available based on the date and range that we select. For our report, start date and end date should be the same, and the selected date should be under 31 days. For beyond 30 days, you can use the daily granularity where supported date range limit is three months. And if you select more than three months of date range, then this only supports the monthly as the granularity option. The maximum date range allowed is 366 days. Using the granularity and filter options, let's consider an example where we are managing a cloud account and we want to analyze the cost associated with the compute service across different compartments for a particular day. We will start by selecting the same start and end date. Select cost in the show field, then select hourly in the granularity field. Now under filters, select the service option and under service, select compute. As you see, there are multiple filter options available to choose from. Select the filters as per your requirements. To know more about filters, please check the documentation links available in the video description. And under Grouping Dimension, select Compartment. As you see, the reports are generated in the form of charts and tables. Now, export that report. Select the export type as per your requirement. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.